I think it's time to play the brand new Meadowlands farm and show it off to you guys and my first ever impression of this farm. I've never seen it, we've seen no screenshots, I have no idea what this farm is, what it's got in store for us, so let's start a brand new game on the new farm and test it out together. Now, I will be starting a brand new 1.6 playthrough using this farm and it will be continued from this video. So we will play the first day together right now, showcasing the farm, and then when we sleep and end the day and save it, the new playthrough will continue from there. I'm so excited to see what this farm is. There is some brand new breeds of cats and dogs, but that's gonna be in a separate video because the pets have been completely overall. There's a lot to it. So I'm gonna make a separate dedicated video revolving around the pets because wow, it's exciting. There is one new change and that is the remixed bundles. There's been some brand new ones added and that is what I'm gonna do on my 1.6 playthrough. So I'm gonna select that ready for the farm. In fact, there is a brand new option that I've noticed here called legacy randomization. This will make random choices in a way that often repeats patterns. Most players should keep this disabled. I'm kind of tempted to try, but I don't want it to ruin the game. I think we should go for it, guys. We've been playing for eight years now. I want things to be different. I'm gonna go for it. I have no idea what this means. Let's just have fun with it, I guess. <laughs> it calls for an interesting one. Right, I'm gonna choose the new pet and we're gonna get into it. Meadow Lands Farm. Oh my god, we are here. Oh, let's go. It's also worth noting there's been some brand new achievements as well being added to the game, which is interesting. But guys, here we are. Let's zoom out. I always like to zoom out, especially because we're going to see this farm in all its glory. We'll start. Oh, interesting. So this might be the random thing. So that would always be parsnips. <laughs> but it's gave me hay. Oh, this is fun. I like that. This is going to be very, very crazy. This is the cabin. It looks very, very cozy. Very simple as well. Not much to it. Nothing new. So let's get out onto the farm with our 15 hay. And let's see what it looks like for the first ever time. Okay. Okay. The layout has changed slightly. Look at this. We've now got a path going out there. Oh, this is going to be a full first impression tour, guys. The pet is here. This is where our spouse has their own area. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's how we leave, and then we go north. We'll start off with this area first. We'll have to clear the way. So if you didn't know, the Meadowlands farm, you do start off with one coop and two chickens. And the reason for that is because there's a brand new grass type for the animals, which is blue. And apparently animals love it. I'm guessing it might make them happier, gain hearts faster, if they've got this special grass. Even noticed a beautiful waterfall and a river flowing through this meadow farm which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This might just be my favorite one already. Oh my God, screenshot. Stardew Valley definitely needed more waterfalls and this is absolutely incredible. Oh, let's go. Guys, I'm gonna really enjoy this farm and I think you all are as well. So this is the blue chewy grass apparently uh, that they love. Just looks like the green but different color. So let's take a look at the chickens. Are they fully grown or are they just chicks? Because we do start with two, so let me have a look. Okay, they are chicks, nice. And this is the, this is perfect guys. We start off with 15 hay, which is randomized. <laughs> so we can already feed them, lovely. I guess what we can do is let them out and see what they do to the grass. Are they gonna go for it? No, just they still go for the green. Okay, maybe it's just random. But let's continue and let's look further because I just can't believe it, guys. I can't believe 1.6 is here. I can't believe we've got a new farm. Oh, my God, the excitement. This is where the greenhouse is. Nice little area. I quite like it with the river flowing behind. I tell you, this farm is going to be amazing to decorate on. You can make this farm look incredible, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Can you actually get up there, though? There's a lot of weeds and stone and stuff. Can we build bridges? <laughs> that would be nice. So we have more of this blue grass coming through. Uh, we can actually check the layout here if we press M on the map. Doesn't really show you much, but maybe the fish here are going to be quite good. Do we get a new fish type? Which is going to be interesting as well. But it's quite big. There's another little pond down here for more crops. We've also got a big one in the middle that I've noticed. Yeah, a nice big uh, pond in the middle. Let's keep it moving down the blue grass. Can we scythe this? We can scythe it. I thought maybe it was some kind of indestructible grass. It's always worth checking. So that's the way down. It's always good to clear the entrance and exits of the farm. Makes life so much easier. Another pond. There's that three so far. Maybe even four. And this is where the farm cave is. Tucked away right in the right. I was wondering where this was because we didn't see it in its usual place, which is normally above the greenhouse. 
have we got any changes to the farm cave or is it the same? It is the same, okay. So we'll move forward, it looks like, okay. So one negative thing about this farm, if we did read it at the start there, it said that it's not very good for crops. So this is more focused on animals. If you love your animals and you don't really do much crops, this is gonna be your farm type. As you can see, there's a lot of like forest here. You can't even till on this section uh, and there's not much space for crops at all. But sprinklers will work. I'm only seeing one crop area here, which is underneath the farmhouse. And that is not a very big area. If we move forward, let's have a look at the crop space. Uh, oh yeah, there's not a lot at all. This might be quite a challenge. Maybe if you're new to Stardew Valley, probably best to start with another farm type, maybe the standard first, just because this might be a bit of a challenge. There's more crop space down here. I see why the ponds are there now. They seem to be located where you can grow crops. The layout's quite difficult as well. You'll have to be back and forth watering if you grow down this far. So yeah, you can see why you start off with a coop. You can see why there's a new grass type because this is gonna be specially made for animals. So far, beautiful looking farm. I think this will be a perfect farm to design on and customize. It's gonna look amazing. To your heart's content, you can make this look however you like. Uh, it's picture perfect, you know, you can take screenshots that are going to look amazing no matter where you are. And if you love animals, this is going to be your farm type. Just imagine all of the cows and chickens and sheep roaming around here. Absolutely amazing. But with the positives, there's always negatives, and that means lack of space for crops. Uh, which is going to be probably the only issue on this farm, I think. A lot of space for buildings, a lot of space for animals. It's just going to be the crops. So, yeah, it just depends on your playstyle. If you do grow a lot of crops, then maybe this isn't for you. But you've got to think about it. We can get sheds, we can get greenhouses, you can do kind of indoor farming. But I don't think there's much more to see. Day one on the farm here, I'm happy. It's, it's, it's kind of basic. My theory for the 1.6 new farm type, I thought was going to be some kind of swamp or wetlands. I'm so far off with that. If anything, this just kind of kind of feels like the forest farm, which I'm not disappointed because at the end of the day, it's a new farm type and that's always fun. But it does look kind of similar to the ones we've got. It's not majorly unique, you know. A complete new environment like a desert or a, a snow biome or even the wetlands would have been amazing. But I'm also glad that it's not just one massive, large, Four Corners Farm, which a lot of people speculate in, that's going to be specially designed for the new eight-player support for multiplayer. You know, this is a cosy one. It's not too big, not too small, and yeah, it's kind of a mixture to me of the standard farm and the forest, which are two of my favourites in the game, so I'm kind of happy with it, but I still wish we got a brand new, different biome. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Are you happy with the Meadowlands farm? Are you going to start a new playthrough with it? Are you going to enjoy it? Or do you wish it was something else? Day one, and I'm already sluggish. It's a good job. It's bedtime. It's always good to, to play Stardew Valley on a new farm. It always makes the game feel different and new and exciting again. I don't know how fast it's going to wear off, you know, because it's not very unique and not overly different. Are we soon going to get fed up with it? I don't know. The waterfall is the massive sell point for me. If we didn't have that, I would have probably been more disappointed. This waterfall alone is absolutely stunning and it's my favorite part of this uh, this farm, this area here with the greenhouse and the coop. But guys, that is it for the farm tour. This is the Meadowlands farm, brand new. Check it out for yourself. Stick around for the 1.6 playthrough where we will continue where we left off on the second day of spring and we'll actually get into this with the new remixes for the bundles of the CC and also the randomized the legacy option. I don't know how fun that's gonna be, but I'm excited to play it. And not only do we just get that, but of course the whole entire 1.6 content which is absolutely huge there is a lot to this update and we're going to obviously play it and discover it through this playthrough so subscribe smash the like button there'll be loads of new 1.6 videos coming out stick around for them and of course the brand new playthrough but thank you all for watching guys happy 1.6 update day i hope you all enjoy it as much as me what a time to be alive let's go